To build your home thinking about the sun, water, wind and trees sounds like the lyrics of the romantic song, but it's an architectural reality as tall as the hills. Do you have an idea of where the sun rises? Have you lately noticed the temperature change in the walls? How often do you see the direction of the shades of the trees during the year? If it is windy, from where is the wind blowing? In which periods does the cool wind blow? A lot of different cultures from the world have designed their spaces considering the elements on hand as well as the conditions the weather imposed. Lacking sophisticated technology, our grandparents build walls and ceilings appropriate from the conditions that the environment imposed. It's so well effective that we can still see cultures that preserve these building ways. If you have never observed these nature elements of your environment, come with us and learn a bit about bioclimatic architecture. Bioclimatic architecture designs houses and buildings through observing the relationship between living beings and the weather. It takes into account sun, wind, temperature, humidity, and vegetation to diminish the environmental footprint and favor energy saving. In other words, this kind of architecture designs buildings for the maximum use of resources. These elements take an important part of the way of building. The sun. The sun is a power source, so it is important to take into account its path through the year seasons. There is a direct relationship between the radiation that a house or building receives. This can be direct, diffuse, or reflected. Any of these three ways affect the thermal behavior of a building. The strategic positioning of the windows is one of the most important components of the bioclimatic architectonic design, because it represents illumination and heat sources. In cold weather it should be used to heat spaces, and in hot weather to avoid letting heat in. Materials. The materials take an important part of this type of architecture because one of its purposes is the integration with the environment. The election of materials is taken into account from its disposition, behavior, and complete life cycle. From the economics to the environmental, it is important to know the life of a material from its origin. That is to say, where it is produced, how it lives, and how it degrades to become part of the nature again. It is important to know the way the heat can enter through spaces to warm them or avoid this flow from going in so the interiors don't require air conditioner. In Iceland, where wood is scarce, walls are done with grass blocks, light and unsulated, and who doesn't remember eye glows with, with ice? The wind. The essential function of any building is to be a shelter for work, leisure and rest, which can only be obtained with environmental comfort and health. The appropriate use of ventilation creates healthy environments and reduces the energy usage. Ventilation can be controlled by knowing the movement of wind inside the building without using mechanical systems. This movement produces a pressure difference in the air due to different air densities as a result of temperature difference inside a building and considering the seasons of the year. Thermal mass. There is a thermal mass inside a building or inside a house that is the ability of materials to delay the entrance of exit of heat into a space. The strategic use of design, placing walls, plants or vegetation in exterior helps to avoid sudden temperature changes. Vegetation. The usage of plants in bioclimatic designs is essential. The setup of the environment covering walls, generating shades and protecting the buildings from extreme condition of the wind. Oh, and of course, they definitely give a pretty note to the architectonic space you are visiting, especially if the election of vegetation is endemic. It is a way to protect the vegetative richness of the area. Bioclimatic architecture is related to eco-architecture, sustainable or green architecture, environmentally conscious and all types of architecture that plays its best on overall well-being, while trying to live a smaller environmental footprint. We invite you to keep an eye on this and all our episodes. Meet, share and comment everything with Vitamina C.